Hi, this is Karen Greenhouse, and today I'm going to show you how to use the classy, the Casio ClassWiz scientific calculator, the FX991, to solve equations. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that the scientific calculators have incredible capabilities, and this one um, lets you do a lot of things like solve equations, and it also has QR code uh, uh, capabilities that then even allows you to see the visual of those equations that you've solved so it's a really nice feature and for the students in middle school who are usually working with scientific calculators it, it can really be helpful when they're getting into some more advanced mathematics to support their extended learning of those things so for example uh, solving systems of equations where you're trying to the answer is going to help you get to something else uh, having the calculators ability to solve that equation is, is important so on the Casio calculator, here we are, we have the menu option, we're going to go down uh, to where we have the equation. So here's solving equations and here's solving inequalities. So we're going to arrow over here to the equation one. I've chosen the menu that I want, I hit equals to select. And now I have two options, I can solve simultaneous equations, so where I need to find two variables, three variables, four variables, or I can solve a polynomial. Uh, we're going to use simultaneous equations right now. We're working with a system. So I'm going to choose one. And it asks me first off how many unknowns. So I have an X and a Y. So I have two unknowns. So I'm going to choose two. And it automatically will populate my two equations here. And it's basically waiting for me to input the coefficient. So the students would have had to develop their equation already. And now we're ready to solve it. So for our example, I'm using a relatively simple one. Um, think of some students in a science class and they're mixing solutions um, trying to get a uh, third solution so we've got a solution with 10% saline that's going to be our X and we've got a solution with 25% saline that's going to be our Y we're going to combine them together and try to make an 85 milliliter solution a third solution with 15% saline so how do I do that so I have two kind of uh, parameters that are working with me. I know that the two solutions together have to add up to 85. So my first equation is going to represent that. So I have one of the first solution plus one of the second solution and I need to make 85 milliliters. So I know that I have two solutions I'm putting together to make an 85 milliliter solution, a third solution. So I hit equal to set that. And now I'm on to the second equation, and this is where that percentage of saline comes into play. So my first solution, I'm basically how much of the first solution, and the first solution has 10%, so I'm going to uh, do 0.1 to represent my 10% solution, and I've got to figure out how much of that solution do I need. My second solution has 25% saline, so I'm going to enter that, 0.25. And I'm trying to create my third solution to only have 15%, but it's 15% of what? It's 15% of the 85. I know my end result's 85 milliliters. So I've gone ahead and actually done that calculation, 15% times 85, and that means my end result, my third solution, is going to be 12.75, and we're going to enter that. So now I have my two equations, my system right here. I'm trying to find the intersection, the the point that's going to tell me how much of each solution of the X and the Y, the 10% and the 25% I need. So I'm going to simply hit equals and it will give me the first value, which in this case is the 10% solution. So notice it's natural display. That's the nice thing about uh, the scientific calculator, this class is it has natural textbook display. So you can see fractions as fractions. I'm going to change it to its decimal form. So I need about 56, 57 milliliters of that first solution of the 10%. And then if I hit the equals again, I see how much I need of the second, which in this case is, let's change it to its decimal form, 28.3%. So now I know how much of each of the two solutions I need to put together to create my 85 milliliters and end up with a 15% saline solution. So that's very simple. and example of solving equations using the scientific calculator but the additional feature with the class whiz is I also can actually see it um, if I don't have a graphing calculator this scientific calculator is going to allow me to see them so I'm going to do the QR code which is here yellow so shift option it's going to generate a code it takes a little there is now if I had the app I could 
do it on my phone, my tablet, but I'm on a computer, so I'm going to just hit this, and it's going to take me directly to the visual of those two um, equations. So you see here's my equations I input, here's the solutions that I input, and here's the graphical representation. So this is great. You can actually have some of those deeper conversations, like what does that point actually mean, and um, you know, what if we wanted a different solution? What would we change or would we change anything? Those types of things. So this is a really nice feature of the Casio ClassWiz. Um, one thing about this, it's, it's showing fraction answers. You can actually go into the settings and change it to be a decimal to begin with, but I like to have that fraction uh, representation there. So that's it, using, the, using a scientific calculator to solve a system of equations.